a bit of DIYs happened here. This has been installed so poorly. Basic installation shown at the Henley block. That's actually live. Oh look, I lassoed the door. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Arts and Electrics. Doing an EICR with Ruben this time, so it might change things a little bit. But hopefully we just find some interesting faults, and if not, showing Ruben some of the testing procedure. Let's get into it. This video is sponsored by Tradeify. Uh, it's an app that we use uh, in Arts and Electrics to just help manage what we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. I like it to be able to see who I'm working with tomorrow so that I don't have to text everyone and be like, oh, am I working with you, John? Am I working with you, Corey? We've got a link in the description where you can get 50% off for the first three months and have fun with it. It's so easy to go around the class one equipment just to touch all of it. We'll uh, do the same with the water and yeah. the gas. You can find stuff straight away, so we've already started to pick off the bits that we want to strip down right. for inspection. I think this is why they're called cowboys, because, oh look, I lassoed the door. <laughs> Reeling that back up. It's a big task. You can see I've done it expertly before in the past. <laughs> Let's do the water in here. So we've got this, which uh, I imagine's not too clever. Oh, I'm not sure what that is yet either. Uh, this main board looks unmolested, to be honest. This one here, we've got a different make breaker shoved into it. Classic bit of mitre in there from the previous spark or kitchen fitter. Um, we've got basic insulation showing at this doorbell. I don't know if you can get your camera in there, just underneath there. And then we have, oh, I need to draw the camera. We have this, which has just been gaffer taped up and that's actually live. So I'll pop that back on. We'll try and make something a bit more per oh, something a bit more permanent with that. <laughs> oh, it's just going to keep falling off. We're not sure if the water's bonded. Uh, tags uh, missing its label. There's basic insulation shown at the Henley block. These tails are undersized for the new head that's been put in. Quite a few things before we even started, but now we're going to go through each circuit one by one. Do our inspections on the circuit. We do have a little walk around to see if there's anything we can see visually, but then we start taking stuff open for inspection and uh, we have a set sampling rate. So we'll count how many points there are and rip off that many points randomly or ones that we suspect are going to be a bit iffy. So that's what we're going to start doing now on circuit one. Yeah, because I was debating the other day whether one of my tool bags was older than you. Oh yeah. It was a, uh, 2006 was when that tool bag was born. i try that one on the wall as well. I don't know if that's going to be on the kitchen ring. Okay. Probably will, because this is an extension. I think everything out here should oh, be off. Oh, how wild. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's interesting what you find in the wild. <laughs> really rubbish, David Attenborough. Where's that come from? That's a radiator. The cable just disappears into the ether. It's spurred off from. Oh, it's a mystery. What's well, actually the percentage of points you need to take off? It all uh, depends on uh, you, you agree it with the client. Right. As such. I mean, we do it as a minimum of 20% of each circuit. Right. And then, depending on what we find, if we find that every one we take off is bad, yeah. we just keep increasing that sampling rate. Yeah. It looks like two cables. <laughs> Some incredibly long screws. Leave that one off for us, please. Popped out of that as soon as I took it off. We're going to have a rough reading. I'll pop that back in. I'm going to do our end to end at Ruben socket because it's a bit more accessible. See how uh, the back box been earthed? You know, they did a great job of it, as you can see. Look at that. It's just beautiful what people go to their you know, extremes to do. Doesn't need to be done, but they've done their best. 16 points you said, didn't you? Yep. So if you want to null them first, it yep. should be zero to be honest, my test has probably quite good. What do you make me look like a liar now? Oh, I see, spot on. Nice. Zero point six. Zero point six, zero point eight five. 
-ish. It should be, if, if you hold that, leave the probes on, let, let go of them so that it settles because your hands will naturally move. It's not settling nicely. But that's, let's have a little calculator. Do 0 0.6 times 1.67. Mm -hmm. Should be looking about the one mark, so. Oh, nice. It's looking pretty good. Not bad. <laughs> Do you understand all of the boxes on this? The number of points is a bit irrelevant. Reference method is very difficult to tell. So that's the way the cable's been installed. How are we supposed to know mm. how it's installed in the house? Yeah. This could put limitation on it. Um, but the reference method will tell you how much the cable can actually take. So right. if it's running through a loft with two layers of insulation on yeah. it, it derates the cable. You must have done that at college, some of the derating factors. <laughs> Don't know. Don't no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's very important because that gives us an idea whether mm. that cable is suitable for that breaker. Because yeah. the breaker should be the weakest link in the circuit so that it never, the cable's never under any strain. Yeah. Uh, the rest of it is ring, so, so that half of it is going to be the readings. Right. Yeah, it yeah. makes sense though, because it can't like disperse its heat. Yeah. Mm. And then so it gets hotter, it, so it can take less current. And that's it, and then it will become the weak link in the circuit, yeah. and it's the one that will be then come under strain. One of the tails, actually, is it with a tail? Something going into the fuse board. Looks like it's actually, I don't know if it's the like PVC migration, or whether that's actually got hot and melted, but they seem to have fused together on the top of the fuse board. I've already seen it before. But it's a difficult one because that's not actually mm. insulated. So you don't need right. a tool to remove that. So the tape is just, mm. you can literally peel it off. Yeah. So if it was something that you needed a tool to remove it, like someone had maybe heat shrunk over it and you needed a knife to take it off, right. then you could then potentially say it's a permanent fix, but it's really not. I'm, I'm just gonna disconnect it from the JB, I think. Because it's in a cupboard where stuff's stored it's, and it's round the corner, you could be reaching around and touch mm. that. So that's the first circuit done. We've got another ring main to do, so it'll be the same process again. over it. That's an interesting one, I can tell you that much. How many cables are there? There are two. They've just been heavily blasted. They've earthed the back box this time. That's something. Sweet. Are they stranded or can you see if it's stranded? Uh, no, it looks like it's solid. It should be around the 40 mark, judging by the lowest reading I've got. 0.46 on the neutral. No, solid as a rock. The life, however, is all over the gaff. In fact, it's open now. Now it's good. No, oh, it's gone again. So unnecessarily. Is there any trash? Is there any slack there? Wow, oh, you do pick them, don't you? Yeah. Oh, well, well. sure was fine over there. Yeah. <laughs> so taking taken another one off. Uh, Earth's come out straight away. The lives don't look like they're connected that well, and uh, the box leads a lot to be desired. It's just <laughs> flying off wherever it wants. Oh dear. It shows the importance of our sampling and the random checks. I've taken off one that's perfect, one that's an absolute shambles, and this one's kind of halfway. More effort to get this piece of sleeving over this than it would have gone to the van to get another bit. I wonder if sleeving used to cost a fortune and that's why it's always doubled over, twisted together. Oh, hello. What's going on down here? It's like a wee little tunnel between the two cupboards. You. I don't know why, what this was for, but here's our socket anyway. Hanging off. I'm gonna see if I've got a fast fix box on the van. Mini roll. It could actually be more difficult to put the other box, try and get that wedge back in. That was held on by a hope and a prayer. I think someone was holding the box behind it. See, what started as just a little inspection has turned into a 15 minute job. Two hours, 45 minutes, and we've barely done two circuits. Do I dare take off one more? Uh, good luck, brother. <laughs> I don't really want to. So Ruben got a high read in here, so we thought to take this one off as well to check it out. And this was literally pushed up 
the back of the box and was just about touching that lug. So it was earthing through the box, but it's not actually connected to anything. So it's not been earthed this whole time. Someone had um, half an idea, I think, when they'd done these upstairs sockets. I mean, they've all been changed for modern ones. So I'm expecting a bit of DIYs happen here. Flapjacks, oh, and millionaire bites. Is it a cheat day? <laughs> it is a, a cheat year so far. <laughs> it's too bright, I just can't see. Ruben, is there an earth there? Uh, can you sort us out the crock on the earth, actually? 0 0.74. Yeah, 0 0.73. Okay. I'm not sure where that is disappearing to, but you can see where it's not fixed properly, it's not sticking out. All of this has just been installed so poorly. Now it's making our life hell. Pretty sure these steps are older than you. I've got, when it used to get tested every year, I can see an 09 there. But if you look, there's about, probably about 10 stickers stuck over that. Yeah, a bit old school. Oh, Nelly, look at that. That's just fallen right out. Not even a challenge. The noise of disgust. <laughs> There's a noise of, should I just push it oh back? Oh my goodness. Put it back. Yeah, it's, there's, is there wall lights in here? I mean, apart from that bit, look. <laughs> kind of looks yeah. like there was something here. And something here. And they look like picture hangings. What's the third one doing? It's not on. Yeah, I just went I'll to just see. See, there's only two lights. I wonder what the third does. It's a I reckon rain. one of these was for a wall light. Oh no, this is the extension, isn't it? Mm. Oh, best ringtone ever. I've got to take this, sorry. <laughs> okay, so we, um, we're we still slowly working our way through the, the circuits. We've been having quite a few issues as we're inspecting the items. The, we're finding problems, so we inspect more, which finds more problems. And it's been escalating quite a lot, especially on the sockets, but we've just got two more lighting circuits on this board, and then we're on to our second DB of the day. My first electric shock was off a two-way lighting. I turned one lighting circuit off and went to work on the switch. And then I've got a horrible, horrible, Electric shock, it burnt and left a mark on my hand. It wasn't very really nice. Mm. You happy with two-way lighting and how it works? Oh, butcher's there. I mean, <laughs> it's not really what I expected to see. <laughs> you expected to see a free quad there, weren't yeah. you? So we've got a single insulated. Oh, yes. Yeah. So it's one core, so part of this is in singles. Right. So normally you'd see a three core run from here downstairs, but it's not the case here. We've actually got a single core. They are double insulated going into your common. I think this is the one, This the feed actually comes up here. You oh, see it? That's amazing, isn't it? I don't know if it's a customer or a plumber, but they made a railing up here out of copper pipe. It's probably worth a bit now with the price of copper. I've never seen that before. That's awesome. It's the little things that excite me. Oh my god, or install, or install with loft ladders. That doesn't seem right. I <laughs> move these steps, you got that. Try me to test it first. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Ruben? Huh? <laughs> huh? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm just carrying a little bit of oh, Christmas man. weight. <laughs> just so dark. Is that the bathroom light? Does that look like it's under the bathroom? No, but. Oh, what about that? There's a four mil earth going down. So I thought I'd go and double check, but it turns out what they've done is they've sleeved a bit of single red and a single brown <laughs> and a CPC. Oh, I think that's supposed to be there. Ruben's worked with me long enough, he knows I 
hurt myself on every object. This is my second Super Mario bag because someone smashed my window into my van at a previous company and stole it and they don't make it anymore. It's reversible so you can turn it inside out and it was two different, it was the above ground level, turned it inside out and then it was the underground one. Uh, this vintage and someone stole it. So this is my um, my second Mario bag. I'm a bit obsessed with Mario. Well, they must have not. <laughs> you reckon they just stole it for the bag? Well, they might have thought there was something fun in there. All they nicked was my thermos flask. Yeah. Oh. How many screws do you reckon I've undone today? And I've just been too lazy to go to the van and get my screwdriver. Seeing dots now. So we're doing it end to end at the uh, socket here. And the live was a bit higher. So we're getting 0.27 on the lives and um, 0.22 on the neutral. So it's a little bit higher. So quite often the first place to start would be at the consumer unit because it's they sometimes they just don't terminate them properly. So if you re terminate them and tighten it up correctly, it normally drags the reading down. And that's what we've done here. And now the readings are perfect. Perfect, look at that. Should be 1 0.3, 0 0.13, 0 0.12. Oof. That's Frankie. <laughs> That's years of not using an electric screwdriver. <laughs> Disconnected the um, that cable from that JB. So it had exposed life parts. Uh, there's an alarm here as well, so we'll have to find out what circuit that's on. It's probably gonna make a racket. Oh, I've been knelt down too long. Oh, I'll do the stanky leg, John. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? That's the original part of the house. So if I was a kitchen, where would I have been? Do you can, it be, can it be upstairs? Uh, that's a cupboard. I'll keep hold of it. Yeah, it's that. Uh, How did they manage I feel like if I let go of this, we're just never going to get it back. <laughs> <laughs> Let's tie something onto it. This doesn't look very easy to pull out. Hang on. We are looking for where the main's water comes in so that we can see if it's bonded. That's what we're looking for. Apparently that's it there. Oh. All the services come up under the stairs. Fair enough. Um, no, I mean, I like they didn't, if they haven't earthed it there. Oh yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty pretty lazy, isn't it? Touch it and think we've got a wonder lead. Go on, keep pulling it off. Oh, right. We'll need quite a lot. Keep going. Two thousand years later. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're gonna make it one big lead. So I'm gonna plug that into there mm -hmm. and plug that into our tester. So now that's essentially one giant lead. Coming back to here. Nice. Get a crop on it. Let's wait for the tester up. That blue tack's looking well manky, I need to replace it. Um, then we're gonna null it so that that's omitted from our result. Yep. It's about 114, yep. So that's now gone. So as long as we don't knock the test button, right. this will be zero. And then we can go wandering. Nice. Ruben, what have you done? Yeah. Go to a gadget stilt, Corey's <laughs> So you see that square symbol up there? It's saying it's double insulated, so it doesn't require an earth. Um, do you know what, let me just go back this way because otherwise we're going to be wrapping around yeah. the pillar. <laughs> right, that's it for today. Hopefully you got something out of it and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Yeah.